begin using Buttscore, double click the icon located on the desktop after installation. Once the program opens, select the blue Add Photo button located on the right hand side of the program. Then choose Browse to Add Deer Photo and locate the buck that you wish to score in the Buttscore system. Provide the deer with a unique name and select the Add button. Then navigate to find the deer's name in the list titled Choose Deer to Start Scoring. Once clicked on, you'll see that it'll pop up on the left hand side of the screen. If the deer is away from the camera, use the crop feature to zoom in on the deer's head and antlers, and this will allow for more precise scoring. Click the Save button to accept your crop changes. Then click Score to begin the process. Select the state in which the deer was from. The deer's age, if unknown, select unknown. The view of the deer, in this case zero degrees or straight on. And the facial feature, listed in order of accuracy, the ear width is the most accurate feature. Make your ear width measurement to resemble the help picture on the right hand side. Once complete, select record. You are now ready to measure the inside spread. Make two clicks on each side of the antlers and then record the inside spread. Count the number of left typical points in this case 5, and then the number of right typical points. Again, 5. This is the main frame 10 point. Once complete, click Measure Main Beams to begin measuring the left main beam. You're going to make as many clicks as possible along the bottom part of the main beam. Once complete, you will click Record Left Main Beam. Then do the same thing on the right hand side, again making clicks along the bottom part of the main beam. When complete, click Record Main Beam. You'll now move to measure typical tines. You'll begin with the left hand side and measure the first typical tine or brow tine. Because you had listed that there were five typical points on the left hand side, you'll measure four typical tines. This is because the main beam has already been measured. Once the left hand side is complete, you'll then move to the right hand side. Again, you will measure four typical tines because you listed that there were five typical points on this deer and the main beam had already been measured. Once complete, you will now move to the circumference measurements. You are now ready to measure the circumference measurements. Each deer will have four circumferences on each side no matter if it's a spike or a 14 point. You're taking the diameter of the beam and the program does the rest. Circumferences, there's a help button located below the erase lines button. This will bring you to a document that shows you different antler configurations and the way to measure the circumferences on each one. Once complete with measuring the four circumferences on each side of the deer, you'll then move to the abnormal points section. In this case, we have one abnormal point on the left hand side. Once the abnormal point is measured and recorded, we'll then click complete scoring. This deer is not in velvet, and we then see our final score sheet, including the spread, beams, typical points and circumferences, as well as the gross score. To go back to the main page, click finish. In order to use the buck score program, you must have a photograph of a buck at one of three views, either straight on or zero degrees, an angled or 45 degree view, or finally, a side or 90 degree view. As long as you have a photograph of a buck at one of these three angles, you can use it in the buck score system. There are several different facial features that allow you to estimate antler size including ear width, which is the most accurate, eye to eye width, or the distance between the eyes, and at the angled or side view, the actual eyeball width itself. Using the zoom tool you can get a closer view in order to precisely measure the eyeball. Download Buckscore today.